density and mass of an inhomogeneous lamina. An idealized flat object that is thin enough to be viewed as a two-dimensional plane region is called a lamina. A lamina is called homogeneous if its composition is uniform throughout and inhomogeneous otherwise. So remember the thickness of a lamina is negligible. It's negligible that means thickness is approximately equal to zero. All right. Lamina. lamina means a thick plane sheet. Now mass of a lamina. If a lamina with a continuous density function, that is for a non-homogeneous or inhomogeneous lamina with continuous density function delta of xy occupies a region R in the xy plane, then its mass capital M is equal to double integral over R delta of xy dA. So mass of a lamina equal to double integral over R delta of xy dA where delta of xy is the density function. Now first example, a triangular lamina with vertices 0, 0, 0, 1 and 1, 0 has density function delta of xy is equal to x into y find its total mass. So given a triangular lamina with vertices 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. A triangular region. So mass of the lamina is equal to m is equal to double integral over r delta of xy density function delta of xy dA. But given delta of xy density function is equal to x into y. So mass is equal to double integral over r xy dA equal to double integral over r. r is a triangular region. Now take a strip which is parallel to y axis, move it from left to right, that is x varying from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1, x equal to 0 to x equal to 1, y varying from y equal to 0, that is the bottom, to top moves on the line y equal to 1 minus x. So y varying from 0 to 0 to 1 minus x, y varying from 0 to 1 minus x, x varying from 0 to now integrate the function integral of x y with respect to y from 0 to 1 minus x. Integral of the function is equal to x into y square by 2 from 0 to 1 minus x equal to integral from 0 to 1 upper limit uh, x by 2 take as a common factor into 1 minus x whole square minus level of 0 which is equal to 1 by 2 x cubed minus x squared plus x by 2 integral from 0 to 1. Integrate the function from 0 to 1, you will get 1 by 24 as the mass of the lamina. Now, center of gravity of a lamina. Center of gravity of a lamina. Center of gravity of a lamina with density function delta x. So if center of gravity let denoted by x bar y bar, then x bar is equal to x bar is equal to center of gravity x bar y bar of a lamina is equal to is x bar is equal to double integral over r x into delta x y dA divided by double integral over r delta xy into dA. So this is 
equal to m mass of the lamina mass of the lamina so double integral over r x into delta of x y dA divided by mass of the lamina equal to x bar similarly y bar is equal to double integral over r y into delta x y dA divided by mass of the lamina so uh, alternating formula so both both the equations are same x bar is equal to 1 by mass of r that is mass of the lamina r into double integral over r x into delta x y dA y bar is equal to double integral over r y into delta x y divided by mass of r or 1 by mass of r into double integral over r y into delta x y dA now one example find the center of gravity of the triangular lamina with vertices 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. same problem so as we have done in exercise 1 or example 1 find the center of gravity of the function density function is also given delta of x y is equal to now as we have already uh, shown in uh, already found found the values of mass uh, mass of the lamina m as 1 by 24 from the previous exercise problem previous example the lamina shown in figure 14.8.4 uh, so, as you can see here given lamina so this is the lamina density function delta of x y is equal to x into y r is the region uh, enclosed between the line y equal to 0 x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 minus x. Now mass is equal to 1 by 24 and we have to find my and mx that is moment of lamina about y axis. Moment of lamina about y axis is equal to double integral over r x into delta x by dA moment about y axis equal to double integral over r x into delta x y dA or m y m y equal to double integral over r x delta x m x is equal to double integral over r y delta x dA so m x m y is equal to double integral over r x into delta x y dA r is the region bounded uh, by x varying from 0 to 1, y varying from 0 to 1 minus x. Integrate the function uh, x square y. x into delta x y. Delta x y is equal to x into y. x into x into y. x square y. We integrate the function, we will get 1 by 60 as solution. Now, moment about x axis. Moment about x axis. That is mx equal to double integral over r y into delta x y dA equal to double integral over r y into x y that is x y square dA again x varying from 0 to 1 y varying from 0 to 1 minus x integrate the function is a polynomial function integrate the function with respect to y you will get x into y cube by 3 x into y cube by 3 from 0 to 1 minus x upper limit minus lower limit you will get x raised to 4 by 3 into minus 1 plus x cube minus x square plus x by 3 as your function you can integrate this function with respect to x from 0 to 1 you will get 1 by 60 as your solution uh, mx is equal to 1 by 60 m by equal to 1 by 60 m is equal to 1 by 24 so the center of gravity x bar y bar is x bar is equal to y by m which is equal to 1 by 60 divided by 1 by 24 is equal to 2 by 5 and y bar is equal to 1 by 60 divided by 1 by 24 which is equal to 2 by 5. So the center of gravity is 2 by 5, 2 by 5. 2 by 5, comma, 2 by 5 is the center of gravity of the lamina. The center of gravity of the lamina. Now centroid of a lamina centroid of a lamina. 
so center of gravity so centroid is nothing but it is the center of gravity of a homogeneous lamina homogeneous lamina homogeneous lamina means delta xy is uniform at each x and y so it will be a function of it's it will be a constant it can be a constant so delta xy is equal to a constant That means it is uniform everywhere at each x and y. It is uniform. Now, centroid of gravity, uh, centroid of a region R, which is equal to the center of gravity of homogeneous lamina. Center of gravity x bar is equal to W integral over R, x into delta x y. Delta x y is equal to say if it's k. If delta x y is equal to k, the blend will have r. So this is m m m y m y is equal to x into k d a divided by w blend will have r delta x y d a delta x y is equal to k. K is a constant. Take as a common factor. K is a constant. Take as a common factor. Then cancel both k. K k get cancelled. We we'll get. Dublin divided over R x d a divided by Dublin divided over R d a equal to x bar, which is equal to area of R area of the lamina area of R into Dublin divided over R x d a equal to x bar. Similarly, y bar is equal to Dublin divided over R y d a divided by area of the region R. Now find the centroid of the semi-circular region, as shown in figure. So it's a semi-circle with center zero zero and radius a. X bar by uh, symmetry, x bar is equal to zero. Since the y-axis is obviously a line of balance. From figure four. Okay, now y bar. Finding y bar. Y bar is equal to W divided by R y d a, which is equal divided by W divided by R d a, equal to one by area of R into W divided by R y d a, which is equal to area of the region R, area of this circle, semi-circle, which is equal to pi r square divided by two. Pi into r, r is equal to radius. Radius is equal to a, so which is equal to one by two into pi a square into w divided by r y d. Now convert into polar coordinates. Theta varies from zero to pi. R varying from zero to zero to pi. Theta varying from zero to pi. R varying from zero to a. Zero to pi, zero to a. Y is equal to R sine theta into R into dr into b theta. D A is equal to R dr b theta. Equal to one by pi r square by two into del from zero to pi. Integrate the function with respect to R. R cube by three into sine theta from zero to a b theta. Equal to one by pi a square into one by two into a cube by three minus zero a cube by three. And del from zero to pi sine theta d theta equal to one by pi a square divided by two into two by three a cube integral of sine theta minus sine uh, minus cos theta from zero to pi upper limit minus lower limit you'll get one by pi a square into one by two into A cube by three into one plus one. One plus one is equal to two. So two by three into a cube implies four a by three pi s y bar and x bar is equal to zero. X bar is equal to zero implies the centroid is zero four a three pi. So since it is uniform, obviously centroid or it is symmetry by symmetry, uh, center center of gravity will be lies on 
y axis on y axis x is equal to 0 that means x bar is equal to 0 x bar 0 y bar y bar is equal to 4a by 3 pi 4a by 3 pi somewhere here so this is the center of gravity or centroid of this semi circular region of